Kellison and I are going to be showing you today how to make your very own da -da -da -da, flashlight. The tools you see in front of you that you will need is a pair of scissors, a binder clip, an LED, two pieces of copper tape, a tongue depressor, popsicle stick, some tape, and a button battery. Now, please be careful. If you have a little brother or sister at home, keep this away from them. These are very, very dangerous if swallowed. So please, please keep this away from any little ones at your house. And of course, never, ever put anything in your mouth that isn't food, okay? All right, so what we are going to do is start by opening up our binder clip and attaching it to the end of the popsicle stick, okay? You would like, you can go ahead, these are optional, add some decoration to your popsicle stick if you would like. Okay. I, of course, added I Love Steam, Join Robotics, and my favorite high school team, 1736. I decorated mine with a Sharpie, but markers will work as well. The copper tape now has an adhesive side and a piece of paper that is protecting it. Now this is where you, where you might want to get an adult to help you. And maybe I need an adult to help me as well. Okay, you want to start peeling that off. But as I learned earlier, only peel off a little bit, okay? Expose just a little bit and then place it on the part that you have exposed, place that onto your popsicle stick and then pull off the paper and attach the copper as you go. Cause look what happens. If you just pull off the whole thing, it wants to curl up like curling ribbon would. And you want to make sure this stays flat and is stuck to your popsicle stick. Okay. You can leave a little bit at the end there. This end you want to make sure will reach the metal binder clip. All right, then you're going to flip it over. Go to your second piece of copper tape. Again, peeling off just a little bit, placing it onto your popsicle stick. Pull off the paper as you go. Now, what I did earlier is I left that little piece on the end there because here's that battery I was telling you about. Okay, this is the positive side of the battery. This is the negative side. So this is the side that's unhappy. Ha ha ha, there's the positive side. So you'll wanna stick the positive side face down and what you can do with the copper tape, if you leave a little bit flipped over like that, you can use it to stick the battery to your popsicle stick. Okay. Now, I do need to make sure that the binder clip is going to reach the battery like that. Okay, so both sides now, one side's touching the battery, 
The other side is touching the copper tape. Now it's time to add our light bulb. Now, when you um, are working with, this is electricity, okay? You've got to make sure the positive and negative sides are lined up correctly. And I know it's hard to tell by looking at this. This is the cathode and this is the anode. The cathode on an LED light bulb is longer. The anode is shorter, okay? And in order for us to complete our circuit and get that light bulb to light up, the cathode side is going to be on the side with the battery and the anode side will be on the other side, okay? So before you permanently attach it, you wanna check it. See, if I flip this around the other way, it doesn't light up. The circuit is not complete, okay? So you just wanna make sure you've got it lined up. Now all I'm doing is squeezing the cathode and the anode, holding it on there to make sure the connection is secure or that I have it the right way, actually. Woo, hello tape. The tape wanted to make a guest appearance and just slide on in there like a hockey puck. All right, so I'm gonna take off a little bit of tape. You don't need a lot. And now that I know that this battery is lined up correctly, I can tape on the cathode. Okay, and then flip it over. Make sure that anode LED side is on there correctly. And voila, a flashlight. Now, make sure that when you're not using it, that you flip the binder clip up so you're not draining the battery, okay? Also, make sure you're not using this in the middle of the night to read a book, okay? Like I used to do when I was a kid. Now, I wanted to show you an extension activity that you could do with your battery and your light bulb is if you have a piece of chenille stem at home, you can also use that to complete a circuit and make a different type of light bulb. So what I did here is you just pull these little fibers out of the chenille stem wrap the cathode and the anode ends of your LED light bulb around the two parts of the chenille stem, like so. And then you're gonna pull the fibers out of the other end too and then unwind the wire. Now that was tricky for me so honestly, Kelson did that for me and she used a paper clip to help unwind the wire. But and this is where you have to play with it because by the time the wire gets down here, it's hard to tell which is the positive, which is the negative. And so I'm just going to remove this and flip it over. And voila. Okay, and so you could make a fun little bookmark with this or a pin, or even wrap it in your hair. You just need to make sure the wires are touching the cathode and anode end of the LED and the other end of the battery. Now this one's a little bit harder to reuse, but I wanted to show you something. So for those of you that like to try out different things, and incorporate some more art into your STEM projects. This is a way to do that. Now that it's all taped and secured, I can wrap this around my finger. Okay. I've got a little springy light. Okay. So we would love to see your projects. Make sure you get them posted uh, to the museum's page, like they said, and uh, tag 
robot casserole FRC 1736. You'll see that on the next slide. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks everyone.